Hi guys and welcome to the Warhammer Lady. So today it's time for Tao's Happy Support. The XV88 broadside team have gone down by 5 points per model, but their stat line remains the same. They have a 2 plus armor set from their broadside battle suit, also a twin linked heavy rail rifle, 60 inches, strength 8, AP1, heavy 1. That's a really nasty shot. A twin linked smart missile system. Also, these special rules, extremely bulky and supporting fire. You can have two additional ones in your unit, so a total of three. And one of them can be upgraded to become a Shaspray, a unit upgrade with a plus one attack and plus one leadership. But regardless if they're upgraded or not, all of them can choose to exchange their rail rifle for a twin linked high yield missile pod. This is a 36 inch range, strength 7 AP4 heavy 4 shooting weapon. Also, any one of them can exchange their twin linked smart missile system for a twin linked plasma rifle. Anyone can take a seeker missile. And up to two. Up to one item from the support system list, and up to two drones. Now remember, these have roadside armor, so they can have missile drones. Also, the entire unit may take the bonding knife ritual special rule. These guys are quite insane. <laughs> I mean, seriously, they're infantry, but they have a shot with a 60 inch range. <laughs> it's good for them that it's twin link, though, because their ballistic skill is bullocks. But yeah, it's a good weapon. And you could even choose to have to have like the roadsides have only missiles with missile drones and a high yield missile pod and the twin link smart missile system that's lots of high strength anti-infantry yes for the broadsides it's heavy so they have to stand still but at 36 inches that's okay <laughs> you don't have to be scared that you end up in close combat because you have to move a bit further or something to be able to shoot it's it's a very neat range good unit <laughs> Hammerhead gunship has gone up by 35 points. It has a ballistic skill of 4, front armor of 13, side armor of 12, rear armor of 10, and 3 home points. It is a vehicle, tank, and skimmer, so you can always get a 5 plus string save, which is nice. A railgun with a solid shot. This is a 72 inch range, strength 10, AP1, heavy 1 shot. Compared to my soul grinder, yeah, I'm so jealous right now. Anyway, you can also take submunition rounds, which will allow for you to change the solid shot with the same range, but strength 6, AP4, and a large blast, which is awesome against infantry. Just if you just happen to not go up against any tanks at all. It also has two gun drones, which is good if you want to detach extra unit, but you could also exchange them for either a twin link burst cannon or a twin link smart missile system. It's basically up to you how you want to play. You can also have two seeker missiles, and you can exchange your railgun for an iron cannon. This is a 60 inch range, strength of 7, AP3, heavy 3, or you can overcharge it for the same range, strength 8, AP3, large blast gets hot. You could kill off space frames from 60 inch range. That's quite neat. But yeah, that depends on which armies you play against, I guess. This is a good tag. It could also get better. <laughs> you could add long strike. That's also an upgrade for the hammerhead. It's a pilot. He's not super expensive. He has a signature system called the XV02 pilot battle system. Battle suit. Sorry, I'm just going to find it here for you. Um... It allows for him, or rather his hammerhead actually, to have incorporated a black sun filter and to fire overwatch and supporting fire special rule. Also, the hammerhead is not limited to firing overwatch once per turn. You can fire it many times, but only once per unit though. But it's still a neat little upgrade. Also, long strike, we're, we're not done there. He has preferred enemy imperial guard and hammerhead ace, which will always give his hammerhead the ballistic skill of five. Five for a strength 10 shot. <laughs> and Tank Hunter. This is a awesome upgrade. It's insane. I'm going to have so much issues with this. <laughs> good, good unit. I like it a lot, especially long strike. The Skyrim Missile Defense Gunship 
has a ballistic skill of 4, front armor of 13, side armor of 12, a rear armor of 10, and 3 hope points. It has also gone down by 10 points. It's a vehicle, a tank, and a skimmer. It has 6 seeker missiles, 2 gun drones, 2 network marker lights, and if you don't remember, these kind of marker lights allow for your unit to mark light for itself, which is good. And velocity tracker, which allows for you to choose if you want sky fire or not on your shooting attacks. You can exchange both gun drones for either a twin link burst cannon or a twin link smart missile system. You can also take items from the vehicle battle system list. This is also a very good tack, especially since it's so different from the hammerhead gunship. You can have sky fire on this thing. And with its own marker lights, you could increase the, the uses of the missiles. They would always be fired, for example, at ballistic skill 5 if you use your marker lights, which is good. Also, in worst case scenario, if there aren't any fires around, just fire at lightly armored vehicles and they will die. Poof. Again, really good tank. Sniper drones have gone down by 22 points. The Fireside Marksman has a ballistic skill of 5 now, and plus 1 in leadership, otherwise he's the same. He's infantry, and he's accompanied by 3 sniper drones, they have the same stat line as ordinary drones do. The Fireside Marksman has combat armour, giving him a 4 plus save. He pulls pistol, 12 inches, strength 5, AP 5, pistol, so just for close quarters really. A drone controller, giving all of his drones 5 in ballistic skill as well. And a marker light. The sniper drones have a long shot pulse rifle, 48 inches, strength of X, AP5, rapid fire. Quite a good range. Special rules, stealth, supporting fire. You can also include up to two additional fire sight marksmen, which might be nice, seeing as if he does die, you're down to ballistic skill too. Also, you can include up to six additional sniper drones. You can have quite a large team. And they're not that expensive. I think the biggest change for them is the fact that if your marksman does die, your drones do not. They still live. If you have a huge team of drones, say nine of them, they will still live. Yes, ballistic skill too, but they won't be wasted. I think this is a really neat unit and I think they've been pushed compared to what they were before anyway. And that concludes the heavy support for the Tausner Codex. And my review series. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna make a how to paint a broadside guide. It will be out this weekend or Monday if you're from Europe. <laughs> and that's basically it. That's all I've planned for Tau. If there's anything you want me to do that's say Tau related, just leave me a comment and I'll try to make it happen. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy this review series and I'll see you later. Bye.